Pixelated Twix. Welcome back to my channel. And today I just wanted to do a like uh, an update on what I'm doing on my channel. I realize there's some people that probably want to know what's going on. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe you don't care. <laughs> um, but I figured I'd better do something because I realized that I went from one extreme to the next without really saying anything at all. And that can throw people for a loop. First of all, Happy New Year. Happy 2022. Um, here we are. I know it's like 14 days as I'm recording this into the new year, which is crazy because January is halfway over already. Um, but yeah, I realize I'm a little too late and please charge it to my head, not my heart, because I tend to forget about things like that. Um, but anyway, so what I'm here for really is to give you an update what I'm doing, what I have been doing and the reason why I'm doing it. So I have taken a break from Boundless, not permanently, but temporarily um, I, for a number of things. One, burnout. Two, trying to figure out content, um, what I would like to do in the game. Um, I'm not a builder. I will stress that I'm not a builder. So watching me build on stream or watching me build and record would probably be quite boring or probably a quite annoying and stressful for those people who are actually builders because I'm me. So there's that. Um, so I do a lot of exploring um, and looking at other people's builds and ooing and awing over that. And uh, lately there hasn't been a lot for me to ooh and awe over, but I'm sure there's been quite a bit added since I left. Speaking of Boundless, I would like to do a quick shout out to Dabu. Uh, for taking care of my sovereign planet's Fantasia. Um, he purchased another four weeks for Fantasia to stay alive. And I really appreciate that. I honestly, my boundless life has been a shambles and I completely forgot about my planets. As a matter of fact, I'm pretty sure Treyu is dying as well. And I probably need to re-up on a Treyu. And all my portals are probably closed, which is going to be an expensive reopen really is so i i need to take care of that quick fast in a hurry but that means i need to do some hunting which i haven't done in weeks so there's that but um so the elephant of the room really has been why i have been recording dragon age and not boundless um i don't usually do new year's resolutions but i figured if i was going to do one if I was going to do one, it would be for my gaming channel or maybe not necessarily just for my gaming channel, but uh, in my gaming life, quote unquote, I figured why not make this a year to actually start and finish a Let's Play. I have to admit, I have the worst track record for starting games and not finishing them. This is why I implemented the one and done series because it gave me a, a, a balance in my life because I do work a full-time job and I have a full-time life outside of that job. So there's all these things going on and I really don't have the time to sit down and play through all these games that I purchased. So doing a one and done series where I can play a little bit of the game and give you my final thoughts on it, even though it's not like a, a full, uh, full blown review, um, because I haven't played the full game, but I can give you like quick thoughts on what I think about the game and my honest opinion that works for me so that's what i had been doing um and i had like started and stopped some games and just it just doesn't work out for me right i get distracted by other things or i have other responsibilities so um this year i said that why not make it a commitment or plan because best laid plans life gets in the way right um to record a full-blown let's play start to finish so I thought, why not take on one of the longest games, <laughs> uh, which is Dragon Age Inquisition. It is a quite long game, um, but I wanted to challenge myself. So challenge accepted. Here we are playing Dragon Age, and I actually haven't played Dragon Age Inquisition in a long time. I thought about starting from the beginning or Origins, but the thought of starting from Origins all the way to Inquisition was really daunting. So I'm going to start with Inquisition. And if I decide that, hey, I can do this and I finish it, maybe I'll go back and play Origins and then Dragon Age 2. Maybe. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. Um, so, yeah, 
Uh, also, I wanted to take the time out to say thank you to everyone who has subscribed, to everyone who has watched videos, liked, shared, whatever, commented. Um, really, truly say thank you because you don't have to watch my channel. You could watch anyone else. Your time is valuable and you could be watching anyone else that's way more entertaining, way more interesting than I could ever be. Way more funnier, way more funnier, 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 more funnier, funnier than I am. And yet you sit down and watch me. And I appreciate that. Even if it's for five minutes, that's five minutes of your time. That's five minutes that you could be watching someone else. So thank you. I really do appreciate it, honestly. Um, this has been a growing experience for me. Um, I've really kind of come out of my shell because I tend to be a bit of an introvert. Not an introvert. What is that one where you're kind of an introvert and you're kind of an extrovert? Whatever. So I'm kind of a little bit of both. Um, but yeah. So I want to say thank you for that, honestly. Um, I have quit my channel multiple times even within the last week, um, thinking that I would like to spend more time doing other things, but I really do enjoy this. I really do. And the editing aspect of it and all that stuff. And I'm always trying to find things that are more interesting for you and me and maybe try to find a balance, but I don't know. Let me know if there's anything that you would like to see on the channel. Um, and I'll consider it. Um, I'm not very good with horror games, so that would be completely out of the question. I'm a huge scaredy cat. I promised myself that I would not step into another horror game, except for, I mean, survival games are different. They're not exactly horror to me, but like games like Five Nights at Freddy's and, um, uh, what's that one? Daylight, whatever. Heck no. Um, those are out of the question. <laughs> But anyway, yeah, so truly say thank you. Um, I'm thinking too that I might do some day in the life of Pixie, like what games that I play that aren't being recorded that I just sit down and play with uh, some of my gamer friends um, or uh, just things that I might play offline uh, with no one, you know, just solo. Uh, so I'm thinking, but I could do some highlights on that or just like give you guys like updates on, Hey, this is what I've been playing. This is what's going on that game at, the, at this is what's going on with this game at this point in time. All right. So that is all. Um, I just wanted to give you guys a quick update on what I've been doing. So what I plan on doing is Dragon Age Inquisition, maybe some things in between, like some one and dones and my plan to get back into balance at some point really soon in the future just got to figure out what i want to do um maybe go back to workshop wars or hidden gems but i don't know maybe people are kind of worn out with that who knows but if there is some new builds that people want to show me um i'd be more than glad to check them out all right guys thank you for listening in and i hope to see you soon